All right, you guys, you already know I'm not a huge action figure fan, but when I saw this one on the shelf, I had to grab it. So let's do this overview of the Gunslinger Spawn from McFarlane Toys. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Uh, now, on this channel, I do comic book unboxings, reviews, haul videos, and everything in between. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon. That way you're notified when new videos of mine go live. Now, uh, this video was supposed to be an unboxing video, um, but I kind of botched that. It took me forever to get this figure out of the box. It was going to be an overview, but then I got super frustrated, like trying to pose this thing and do all the stuff that you're supposed to do with an action figure. So instead, this is just going to be my experience with the McFarlane Toys Target exclusive Gunslinger Spawn, which I have right here. Now, I love this figure. I have to say, I mean, as far as looks go, this thing looks super dope. Um, it's really meticulously crafted, sculpted great. Um, there's a lot to love about this thing. There's also a lot to not really want to get behind, right? And I'm not saying that like you shouldn't buy this figure, but it's just for me, I am an amateur figure dude. Like I don't necessarily buy figures. I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a toy collector. I buy things that look cool on the shelf and that kind of coincide or correspond to books that I already have, uh, maybe a poster or something like that. Um, but I know there are plenty of people in the community who buy toys to pose them, to f photograph them, to do all sorts of stuff. And I got to tell you, today is where I learned the difference between a, a hobby toy collector and one of those like hardcore toy collectors. I am not. I'm not hardcore. Uh, and that's what I found out today. So the McFarlane Toys Gunslinger Spawn, uh, this is a Target exclusive. Um, obviously, this used to be in the box, but it's a Target exclusive. Uh, it comes from, it's funny, it says it's from the record-breaking comic, uh, which, yes, at the time, uh, Spawn, well, no, Spawn did break, has broken the record. It's the longest running independent series of all time at 323 issues currently until like two weeks from now. But anyway, um, so this was exclusive to Target. Um, now, in case you missed out, because if you don't see this this figure on the shelves of your local Target, you likely already missed out. They are going to do another uh, Gunslinger Spawn figure. But instead of coming with the accessories that this one comes with, that I'll go over in a second, it's going to come with a Gatling gun, kind of similar to this McFarlane Toys uh, Green Lantern, except it won't be green, obviously. So if you missed out, go ahead and pre-order that. It's on McFarlane Toys right now. Uh, but yeah, so I guess I'll go over the things this comes with. So obviously, it comes with the Gunslinger Spawn. It comes with the little stand to help you pose it or help you stand it up easier. Um, and then you get some accessories. So you get this long rifle. Um, which gotta admit it's kind of flimsy. If you turn it to the side, it's kind of bent a little bit, but not a huge deal. You gotta be, kind of have to expect that at this price point. Uh, you also get, in addition to the gun or the rifle and the holster that comes separately, um, you do get two of these pistols that go on his hip holsters on either side. So I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Honestly, Gunslinger Spawn is just a character that just looks cool. Uh, when it comes to McFarlane and Spawn, that's literally the only reason I even buy the Spawn comic book is because it looks cool. But this is something that's just going to look cool in a room and represent that corner of my fandom. I love everything. I love the Spawn universe visually. And I think that's the best compliment you can give any comic book artist. Can't lie. I'm not a huge fan of the stories, but you don't have to be. Uh, so what I will say about this figure, um, now that I told you what all it comes with, um, uh, it's got 22 points of articulation. So, I mean, you can bend the arms this way and that way, and you can bend the elbows. 
You know what I'm saying? You could make them do the little truck thing. If you want to honk, honk, like you can do all that. Um, you can put the, the guns in his hands relatively easily. Although I will say the rifle is kind of flimsy. Like it bends. It's kind of droopy. So I think the best pose for the, the rifle is right there in that holster. Um, but cool thing is his arm kind of bends up. So you can do, you can do this whole like, oh, I'm reaching for my gun pose. Like, you know, the old West. What's funny is I haven't watched a lot of Westerns, but I've watched Back to the Future 3. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy just the design of Gunslinger Spawn. Like the design of the character is just really dope. And this is just going to be a really cool addition to my action figure collection. Um, and and <clears throat> yeah. So that's that. Uh, so as far as the negatives, the cons, right? I kind of mentioned how this is like a pretty well posable figure. Like it has a ton of articulation points, but because of this cape slash trench coat thing here, you don't really get to move it as much as you would some other figures. Although Gunslinger Spawn is quite the stoic looking character. So I don't feel like you need to. Um, so yeah, it's really well done. Um, like I said, McFarlane Toys is really the only company doing details or figures this detailed um, at this price point. This had a retail price of $24.99, and that's what I paid for it, which was super dope. Um, but even like standing it up, I'm noticing is a little bit harder than it has been for other McFarlane figures in the past. And I think that's just because it's not as... They don't have as much mobility as you might have had before. Um, so that's that's interesting. That's definitely an interesting problem to have. Um, but I mean, I already know that once I get this thing posed and stood up on the shelf, I'm never going to move it anyway. So that's not a deal breaker for me. Um, just, just for the sake of comparison, I wanted to bring out this Diamond Select Wolverine. Uh, Diamond Select figures have a price point of like $30. And, you know, so this is that. It's cool, but it doesn't have nearly the same articulation. And uh, even the sculpt and the paint job on this is nowhere near as good as any of the McFarlane Toys figures that I have. So McFarlane Toys, it's really McFarlane Toys and like the Marvel Legends from Hasbro. And those are pretty much the only figures I buy. Everything else is like way more expensive than I can justify spending. Uh, but these actually look good for the little bit of money that you're spending so shout out to mcfarlane toys shout out to the todd father uh for making the company so great and uh shout out to this figure this is probably my favorite mcfarlane toys figure that i have so far um i did just pre-order the uh, the whole three jokers wave uh so i got batman uh batgirl red hood and all three jokers on the way uh soon so I'll probably do an overview of those. Don't expect to see a ton of action figure reviews on the channel because one, I don't buy a ton of them. And two, I'm just not good at them. As you can see from the B-roll and the bloopers that'll go and roll at the end of this video, it's just not my thing. But hope you help you find your thing, right? Like if you love action figures and this video helped you out, dope. Like I said, this was a Target exclusive figure. So chances are you're not gonna find it on shelves anymore, but if you do uh, want a gunslinger spawn, you don't mind that doesn't come with the three guns, you can get one with a Gatling gun available for pre-order on McFarlane Toys, McFarlaneToyStore.com right now. So definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, while you're looking in the description, you should definitely check out our channel partners so you can save money on action figures and all sorts of stuff. And also you can join my private community, the K-Squad. We've actually got a Talking Toys channel in the Discord server so you can post your action figures and your hauls and stuff like that. We'd love to see you there. Uh, but until next time, I hope you saw something you liked in this video. If not, Hey, that's cool. So you can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace. All right. So there's absolutely video of me struggling for like 30 minutes to try to put this head back on. I'm still unsuccessful. 
I suck at action figures. This is why I'm not an action figure collector. I got homies that'll like swap heads off of different toys and stuff. Oh, let me put John Stewart's head on Spawn and act like he's Al Simmons. That, that sounds like a great idea, except I can't get bro, bro's head back on. Let's see. Let's try popping off old John Stewart's head. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should not. Maybe I'm just not, not going to do that. This is why I don't rock with action figures all the time. They're great to look at, but I, I can't do the customizing and the custom posing and stuff. It better come with a dope pose out of the box because if not, eh.